Hello, everyone, God willing, everything will be fine. In this new video we are going to get to know the 10 best Italian players in the history of football. Following on from our video and the best Belgian players of all time, here is the top 10 of the best Italian players in history. Italy have a reputation for being very strong defensively, as the number of defensive players in this list shows. And it's a tactic that seems to have worked well for her. But the country has also known great scorers or offensive players, such as Tadio Rivera. The second most successful team in the history of the World Cup, Italy is one of the great nations of football. She won the World Cup twice in a row in 1934 and 1938 and her last coronation was in 2006. This ranking includes players from different eras. From Misa, who played his first international match in 1930, to Gianluigi Buffon who is still active today, via Baggio and Waldini. Go discover the 10 best Italian players of all time. 10. Fabio Cannavaro Fabio Cannavaro was not only an exceptional defender, but also an equally formidable leader. He has always been a source of inspiration to young people who admired him. His quality on the ball and his willingness to stay one step ahead of the opposition made up for his short stature. He was a major contributor to Italy's victory at the 2006 World Cup. Cannavaro will be rewarded with the title of World and European Player of the Season, but above all by receiving the Ballon d'Or the same year. He is probably one of the best Italian players of his generation. Cannavaro is one of the best central defenders in the history of Italian football. He has spent most of his career in Italy. In the 90s he was part of the famous Parma team which won a UEFA Cup and two Coppa Italia titles. However, he will never win Serie A, but two La Liga titles during his time at Real Madrid. 9. Francesco Totti The golden boy of Italian football is a rare example of unwavering loyalty in football today. His entire career with the Roman team fighting for trophies has earned him divine status. This love quickly spread across the country thanks to his performances with the selection. In 2000, he helped Italy reach the Euro final, before being beaten by a French team inspired by Zinedine Zidane. But in 2006, he ended up winning the World Cup, once again against France. With Roma, his team of hearts, he won a Serie and two Italian Cups. Totti is the second all-time top scorer in Serie A, with 250 goals in 619 games. Thanks to his adaptability, Totti could play anywhere in attack, even number 10. He was best known for his control of the ball, his vision, his passing range, but also for his finish. He was very good at dictating the game when deployed in midfield. Totti is certainly one of the best Italian players in history. 8. Dino Zoff Dino Zoff has had an incredibly long career. First winner of the European Cup with Italy in 1968, then finalist of the World Cup in 1970, he will finally be the oldest player to have won a World Cup in 1982 at the age of 40. Zoff was a traditional, efficient and experienced goalkeeper. He generally preferred efficiency and caution, although he was also capable of making spectacular dives. The Italian porter was particularly appreciated for his excellent positioning. But also for his concentration, his constancy, his calm and his composure. In club, he will play in Naples, but especially at Juventus in Turin, where he won a large number of titles. Zoff will notably win Serie A six times the Italian Cup twice and a UEFA Cup. He will also be voted European Goalkeeper of the Year four times. 7. Gianni Rivera Gianni Rivera was a creative, technically gifted and efficient attacking midfielder. He was blessed with exceptional footballing intelligence and class. Rivera was highly regarded for his exceptional ball control, dribbling skills and excellent technique but also for his agility, which allowed him to change direction quickly and dribble players with ease. Rivera has represented Italy at four World Cups, including a final in 1970. 
he mainly helped the Italian team and to win the European Championships in 1968. Gianni Rivera also played for AC Milan for 19 years, after signing for the club at the age of 16. With the Ross Neri, he won a large number of trophies, including twice the Champions League. Gianni Rivera went on to win the prestigious Ballon d'Or in 1969, after finishing second behind Lev Yashin for the same prize in 1963. The consecration for one of the best Italian players of the 1960s. 6. Roberto Baggio Roberto Baggio is certainly one of the best Italian strikers of all time. His vision, creativity, assists and finish were unmatched during an era of domination of Italian football in the 80s and 90s. With 27 goals, he is the fourth highest scorer in the history of the Italian team. Baggio is a versatile player with excellent vision and exceptional technical skills. This earned him the Golden Ball and FIFA Best Player of the Year in 1993. It was in Turin, or five seasons, that he really became one of the best in the world. Even though he has only one Serie A title to his name and has never won the World Cup, Italy having finished second in 94 and third in 90, Roberto Baggio has inspired a whole generation. Italians with his style of play. 5. Gianluigi Buffon Now 40, Buffon is a legend and an example of longevity. He made his debut in Parma, with whom he would win the UEFA Cup and the Italian Cup in 1999. Then in 2001 he became the mythical guardian of Juventus and will remain so for almost 17 years. Buffon will have won 9 Serie A and 4 Italian Cups with the Turin Cup. Only the Champions League escaped him, despite three finals in 2003, 2015 and 2017. He is also the most successful player in the Italian national team, 176 matches, with which he participated in four European Championships and five World Cups, including the 1-1 in 2006 against France which also earned him the second place in our ranking of the best goalkeepers in history. 4. Franco Berezzi At the top of the list of football's greatest central defenders, the legendary Franco Berezzi. Leading AC Milan for several years alongside Paolo Maldini, Berezzi quickly established himself as a world-class centre-back. Despite the loss of both his parents at the age of 16, Berezzi's unwavering love of football drove him to pursue his dreams and become a professional footballer for the Ross Neri. Until the end of his career he was the man of one club and he never dreamed of straying from the team he cared so much about. To pay tribute to him for his phenomenal career at the San Siro, AC Milan decided to retire the number 6 shirt. A number he made famous by wearing it for nearly two decades. Berezzi is without a doubt one of the best Italian players of all time. 3. Andrea Perlo If a player has played for AC Milan, in turn Milan and Juventus in his career and is still highly respected by all three fan groups, you know he has to be special. Known for his precision and vision for the game, Perlo played as a playmaker for most of his career. With 116 caps for Italy, he was also their best midfielder for a decade. He won the 2006 World Cup by being named man of the match in the final. Perlo joined AC Milan in 2001 and stayed with the Rossner I for 10 seasons. Period during which he allowed his team to win two Champions Leagues, and two Serie A then transferred to Juventus, he won another four Scudetto in a row before ending his career in New York. 2. Paolo Maldini in a nation renowned for its defensive skills, very few defenders have managed to match the undisputed talent of Paolo Maldini. The Italian spent his entire career with AC Milan where he became the only player to have won the Champions League five times. Unlike other high-profile defenders, Maldini is recognized by many as an icon. 
He has been nominated twice for the Ballon d'Or and has won several individual awards. In his 25-year career, he has received just three red cards, a testament to his composure and personality, which are the pillars of his success. The former AC Milan defender was extremely versatile and his timing of his tackles was impeccable. With a good sense of position and a key knight for the game, Maldini could play in his usual position as a centre-back, but also as a makeshift left-back. For many, he is the greatest defender in football history. One, Giuseppe Misa. For most modern football fans, Misa is relatively unknown. Yet most Italians know him for his major role in their first two World Cup victories in 1934 and 1938. Misa was a complete striker, capable of advancing to any offensive position. Known for his passing, shooting, dribbling and heading, he is Italy's second leading scorer, with 33 goals and 53 appearances. Coming from Inter's youth academy, he has been incredibly prolific for the Milan team. He won three championships with the Nera Ria and was crowned Serie A top scorer three times. To this day, he is the fourth best scorer in Serie A history with 216 goals. Its influence on Italian football, and in particular on Inter Milan, is such that the stadium shared by Inter and AC Milan, better known as San Siro, is officially called the Stadio Giuseppe Misa. Many in Italy have even compared him to Pelé. Misa is therefore in first place in our ranking of the best Italian players of all time. 2. And in the end, I say to you, thank you for watching. If you like the video, do not forget to press the like and subscribe button.